Welcome to Roger Rye Hampton Rose. Live in the Glue Factory, I have with me Chico Burton of Diversity. It's Tough Enough Tuesday, so we're going to speak with Chico about what it is that makes him tough enough to be a CEO of Diversities in a world today where entrepreneurs and black men, they, it's rare. So Chico, let's talk first about uh, Chico the person. Where are you from? Newport News. Born and raised. You see what he got that Newport News edge too. Well, yeah, you know, I'm, that's me. I like to be home. I'm homegrown. That's so, real. you know, born and raised. I wouldn't change nothing for the world. Everybody call it Uptown, bad news. Downtown, downtown. 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 Everybody call it bad I news. I asked to be considerate, but I had a feeling of downtown vibe. <laughs> I can see you. Nah, nah. <laughs> Don't do that. But it's just, that's where I'm from. Okay. And um, like I said, I wouldn't change nothing for the world. They call it bad news for a reason, but... You know, you can change that bad news into good news. Amen. And what we're going to do is, it's hard because we're feeling each other here. We want to give each other that glue that you, <laughs> but we're going to focus right here on Amen. you all, glue man. <laughs> all right. Um, being from Bad News VA, did you ever think that you would be a CEO? Nah. Actually, you just gave me that title as the CEO today. My wife, um, she wanted to give it to me, but at the same time, it's something that these are these are the things that my family enjoyed doing, so that's what makes it important to me. Diversities was something my wife created, thought she had something she wanted to do. It wasn't really something that was, hey, this is what I wanted to do. But at the same time, if it's important to her, it's important to me, mm. as well as my girls. So mm. if, if they come up with something or they got a passion about something, I make it important to me. It's going to so, be very hard for me not to talk to you all about this man's blue family, because if you can't tell by now, he is all about the women in his life, and that is important to me, which is why he's sitting right here. I didn't Absolutely. mean to cut you off, but that I'm just listening like, God, I can't wait to get to your house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't wait to have you. Actually, I was talking to the wife today about it, and she was like, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, let's do that. So, you know, I get a chance to cook for you. You know what I'm saying? Get you at the house, get you at the round table so you can see how we do it. Mm. And until that, we're going to come back to the CEO part of this new interview. Why have you never thought about yourself as a CEO or put that title on it? it? It's not a word for you? You didn't think that you was a CEO? You just doing t-shirts? Why not? Well, it really wasn't that. It was, it was just more or less like, I spent a lot of my life, I wasted a lot of time in my life. Let's say that. And mm -hmm. um, with that, you know what I'm saying, I always put my wife and my kids first. So it wasn't nothing that it wasn't that I didn't see myself as a CEO or anything like that. It was just more or less, this was something that she, this was a passion for her. Okay. So I made it my personal business to make sure it happened. So the CEO part of it, I'm going to say the title wasn't important. Okay, that's as, real. As that's real. making it happen for her was. Yeah, it kind of like turned into something I do. Yeah, I want to put that out there well, to her. Cause so well. she see this, she <laughs> understand where I'm going with this. But um, it, it turned into something... I got really involved in because, like I say, I see how important it is to her. So it's something that I'm starting to enjoy more and more each day. Let's talk to the people about, I know it was your wife's idea, but I know you also have your hands in the business, on the business. Diversities, why the spelling that way? Why diversities the world? Um, where did the birth name come from? I don't know if that's the right word. Ah, uh, she was she was going back and forth with the names and um, what she had was um, throw ons. That was her first name because okay. she said t-shirts is pretty much something everybody just throw on. That's right. They don't just have like a, oh that. I'm going to get this t-shirt or I seen this t-shirt. Okay. It was a throw on thing to her but then it was just like when she looked the throw on up it was like it was everywhere. It was like, but it wasn't oh, wow. the way she okay. wanted it, but it was just out there. So she wanted to come up with something different. So she got to doing her little thing on the paper. Then she came up with diversities on the strength of, she wanted it to be something everybody can wear, not just us, everybody. You know what I'm saying? So the diversities is what, the diverse is what made it for everybody. And then, you know, of course, the t-shirts was the whole concept in the beginning. So she just put the two and two together. And the logo was something her and her, one of her little girlfriends came up with. Okay. And they put that together and made it happen. And the reason why I asked about the title of the t-shirt, it's very obvious what diversity means and things of that nature. But to bring God loves unconditionally everyone mm -hmm. and diversities together, mm -hmm. for me, that's the Blue Underdog Network because our brands are letting you know that right where you are, we fit you. Right, right. Okay, and I wanted you all to get that. I didn't have to explain it, but I, the 
glue people behind the brand is the most important thing for my brand and I wanted you all to be clear that we meet you right where you are just because he's from Bad News VA and I'm from Forever I Love Atlanta it don't mean right. that we cannot provide needs and give love unto everyone in a diversification kind of way absolutely um, as I see this t-shirt here why this particular t-shirt and I see this date here is that the birth of diversity oh. what is that about this this right here this 2011 this the, this the birth of the new me Mm. That's the birth of the new me. Me and my wife, we've been loving each other since 87. And um, majority of that time, like I said, I wasted a lot of time. And um, we, 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 had, we had to go a lot of different directions and come back to one another on several occasions. But 2011 was the year that I had enough of being, I'm not going to say a nobody, mm. but it was just time for me to be somebody to my kids and my wife. So this was this was the year we got married. And um, in 2011, like I say, everything we do in our life is already in God's plan. That just messed me up. But I'm this one here, yeah. yeah, this one has all changed for me. This was the day she said I do. All the way from 87, she hung all the way to 2011 to say I do. So at that point, we say this was the birth of diversities because that's when we realized that it wasn't in our plan. It was just something we had to execute. So, And that explanation is the glue reason why this glue man is in the glue factory. <laughs> okay. For the I simple like that. fact that it's not about him. And I knew that from day one. And knowing that Edge, he had a life before his, his today. Mm -hmm. And this here gives it clarity. It's like, oh. That is the, the, to be aware of your own transformation is huge. So black men, I am going to tell you that Chico is here for you. I have five brothers, but I can only relate to the brothers so far. Having this young man tell his glue story, glue stimony, for me is why he's here. Mm -hmm. So this here brings it all together and... I don't know if y'all gonna write a book or something about that team right in 2011. <laughs> However I can help, whatever I can do, that's huge because right. you just told, this tells your whole truth. Right. Your right. whole family. And that is, I can't, I, I wanna talk about his family, but I can't right now, it's about the man. <laughs> yeah, if yeah. you had any words to give a brother right now, what would they be? Well, I would like, not just a brother, everybody. You no. know what I'm saying? Change, change is, um, it can happen at any time. Mm. You just got to be ready to accept the change. And a lot of times change don't always come in something that you want or in a, a, initially it's not always a positive change. Sometimes you got to go through some things to get to where you're trying to go. So that turn you make first might not be the turn you wanted to make. But at the end of the day, it's going to get you to your destination. So it's just a matter of hanging in there and hold tight. It's going to happen. Sometimes you gotta shut up and just take it in and just listen. And, okay. and, and I appreciate you for that. That's why I'm like, wow. The people that come through the glue factory door, they're not only here to give a glue interview, they're here to give me life. And learning from people is all I love to do. And showing people off is all I love to do. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to keep quiet when people reveal themselves and the other parts of themselves to me so that's why I get taken aback as I get it I give it right. so even I get caught up in the emotion of the glue interview because this is just the reality of what I call the gluality of my my glue life and meeting glue people for me is what this journey is all about and it's priceless so that look was just like wow <laughs> I appreciate you for being for walking in your truth right. being bold in your truth and not really care. I want to cuss so bad. I don't right, know if right. a cusser. <laughs> My people know I'm a cusser, but I right, know the no. kids will look at this too. But so just I'm be you. That's what I'm saying. So it's like the kids, even with the kids, they're going to know you as the person. So like with my kids, sometimes I have to step on out there and put a couple of words in place that get them lined back up real quick. And they understand. They understand. Nobody perfect. Bam, bam, pow. On that no glue, uh, glue land. We're going to stop right here because you know passion on the budget. We can only go 10 minutes at a time to make sure that everything uploads in a timely manner. In the meantime, in between time, be you be great.
Start your upper movement today for tomorrow is a promise. We're going to come back on the other side of this glue commercial with more glue insight from Chico Burton's of Diversity. Diversity. Make sure you get yourselves tested for HIV AIDS and know that God loves unconditionally everyone and it's our duty to give love unto everyone, even you. Tell them that's glue baby. That's glue baby. He's so cool and smooth with it too, y'all. <laughs> that's glue baby. I love it. So that's